Do you want a breakthrough? Hey, this is Angela Carter with Recruit.EarnMoneyWithAngela.com. And if you're watching this video, you are looking for network marketing success tips that can help you have a breakthrough in your network marketing business. You want a breakthrough to the next level. Maybe you feel stuck um, at a certain rank or maybe stuck at a certain income goal. And so you want to get some additional network marketing tips that can help you kind of burst through and get to the next level and get unstuck. Well, all of this week on the MLM Fast Start channel, I am covering a network marketing success tip training video series called MLM Breakthrough, how to get a breakthrough in your MLM business. And so this uh, series was inspired by really my struggles in the network marketing industry. I got started in 2010 and for two years felt stuck was stuck not only felt stuck but I was stuck at the same uh, income level every single month and so what I wanted to do is share with you how I got unstuck and had my biggest month in August uh, last month I'm doing this video in September so I uh, want to share with you some strategies that I did so every single day this week I'm going to cover some strategies that can help you get unstuck and have an income breakthrough in your MLM business today's video is about mindset I decided to cover this first because a lot of people don't treat this as important but it really is when you want to hit the next level in income in your business the first barrier <laughs> that is going to come up is mindset it's believing that you can actually do it and hit it because if you've been in the stuck in the same place for so long and maybe you're stuck at zero maybe you haven't spot, so, signed up anybody maybe you haven't made any money in network marketing it doesn't matter but if you feel like you just can't get past what this barrier and you don't know what this barrier is it feels like this invisible wall that you keep just running into the, the key is believing that you can overcome it. The key is believing that you can make the income that you want to make. And that was the biggest uh, barrier for me. You know, I believe a lot of limiting beliefs. Like I believe that I would have to like work even more and work uh, like a dog pretty much uh, in my business in order to make more. And that was a belief that had to be killed. I had to, I had to get rid of that belief. And so the first thing is for mindset for success and mindset for having an income breakthrough is believing that you can hit the income goal that you have set in your business now here's how you do it um, I don't believe in a lot of you know just just say it just affirm it just keep saying it saying it saying it because in your mind you keep thinking yeah right I've never done this before I mean I've always struggled it's always been hard I've never hit this before and your, your mind is going to play tricks on you and say that you can't so I'm gonna take a page out of a um, uh, a story here that I that I've experienced when I was in law school. You know, I, my background is in law as a licensed attorney, and um, I remember my third year of law school. I previously my second year I had worked for a computer software technology company in Austin, Texas. I worked directly with the CEO. I was reviewing a lot of the company's contracts, and going into my third year, I ended up working with a music attorney in Austin, and. I remember kind of having this itch to start a business at that time I was thinking about starting my own law practice but I remember I went out to lunch with my previous boss the CEO of that software technology company and, we, and during my third year of law school and um, I asked him how did how did he know that he was ready to start his own business because he didn't come from money he had started his business he was a you know an employee first and then he started his own business and now it's a mid-sized company he's you know written a book and he's done a lot of speaking engagements. so I just asked him like how did he know when he was ready to start a business and he shared with me two things two things that I'll never forget the first thing that he said was kinda of cliche but the second thing revealed to me what makes people who are successful in business totally different from people who wanna be successful but never attempt or people who want to succeed but struggle he said this he said it's like having a child Angela you'll never feel ready you just have to do it that seems like the cliche response right it's just feel the fear and do it anyway just you know just you just gotta do it you just gotta t make the leap but the second thing that he shared was totally different and he said this he said uh, he was like you, you you're working right now right and I said yeah I'm, you know because he knew that I was working with that music attorney and he said well building a successful business is all about getting new clients and keeping the ones that you got and he said well you already have your first client and I'm looking at him like okay oh, okay and he said you already have a business Angela and I'm thinking you know I'm a broke law school student I'm you know I'm going into debt 30k a year right uh, if that's how that's so much was that was with a 15,000 a year scholarship right so I'm like I don't have a business I'm broke you know I'm a broke law student so he carried on and he said well he's like you have income coming in right you know he said from a job or from parents or loans I said yeah he said well and he said you got expenses too right and I said yeah you know he said you got rent you got utilities I said absolutely and he said, well, building a successful business is about having more coming in than what's going out. And he said, you already have a business. You're already the CEO of Angela Inc., Angela Incorporated. 
And he said, you already have a business. You might not like the money coming in and you might not like the money going out, but you already have a business. So why do I share that story? What does this have to do with MLM breakthrough and having an income breakthrough? You have to believe that you can do this and that you can achieve the income goal that you have set and not just say, I think I can, I think I can, I believe I can, I believe I can, because your mind's going to say, yeah, right, yeah, right. You've never done this before. <laughs> but you need to have the mindset that a successful CEO has. And he says, I've already done this. Okay, would you say that I haven't achieved that goal yet in, in MLM? You might not have achieved it yet in MLM, but you've achieved it at a job. Most people get started in MLM because they want to leave their job. They want to make the income that they're making already in their job and their business, which means that they have already made the income goal that they want. Some people have higher income goals, right? They want to make more than what they're making on their job. But even if you start there, even if you've never made the money that you're making on a current job now in an MLM business, you already can make that income. You can already command that income from the marketplace. Now you just have to rinse and repeat. You just have to do what you did to get that job for your business. Well, what did you do to get that job? Well, the first thing that you did was you had some sort of skill set. And most people, you know, some people get into MLM and they have a business and they're, they have a, a professional background. They went to college before, right? They've invested in their education before. Well, the first thing that you need to do in order to get a job is you need to have a skill set. You have to market yourself, right? You got to have some sort of knowledge or ability. For me, it was law, right? I invested in a legal education, so I had a legal knowledge and legal skills, right? For you, it may be something else. You may have labor skills. Maybe you're a plumber or a gardener or a construction worker. Whatever it is, you had something to market, and then you got it in front of people who were already looking for you. And they're called employers, right? And you search for them. You found them on, you know, monster.com or hot jobs or career builder, whatever it was. You positioned yourself in front of them. How did you do it? You got a resume or an application. And you let them know, hey, I exist, <laughs> right? You're looking for someone with my skill set. Hey, I'm around. And you expose yourself in front of someone who was already looking for what it is that you had to offer and they had the money to pay that amount. The next thing you did was they, that your resume piqued their curiosity enough where they said, hey, I want you to come in for an interview in the business world. That's a sales presentation. So you presented yourself, you sold yourself in the interview. And at the end, they either say yay or nay. They either said yes, hey, welcome aboard. Or they say, you know what, unfortunately, we're going to go with someone else. Or they said, you know what, we're going to um, go, you know, look at some other candidates. We're considering other people and candidates mean competitors in the business world and we'll get back with you and maybe you followed up after that you sent them a thank you card you uh, or they called you back in and said hey you know we want to see you for a second interview because we have some additional questions or concerns that is objections in the business world in the sales world hey we have other concerns we want to invite you back in to kind of you know get some of our questions and concerns answered whatever it is at the end of the day they either said yes or no and if you're at a job now they said yes right and your annual income You've already created, you've already demanded that from the marketplace and you can do it again if you just do what you did with the job situation. So that's what helped me um, make that shift that, hey, you know what, making $10,000 a month or even making you know six figures in a year, I can do that, <laughs> right? Even getting, you know, um, $75,000 in my business, I can do that. Why? Because, you know, I looked at it, I've done it before. I've gotten a scholarship. You know, when I went to UT Law School, I got a $15,000 a year scholarship. So I'm like, if I could do it there, I can do it here. The only difference was, number one, I had something to market. I had results that I produced, right? I had a GPA from University of Michigan. I had, you know, I took the LSAT score. I had already proven myself. I had, you know, job experiences. What have you gotten? What kind of results have you gotten in your business? What kind of skill sets have you produced? You know, what kind of um, education have you invested in? If you haven't invested in your education at the same level that you've invested in for your job, there's, that's why you're not making the income that you want to make. So the first step is believing that you can. And it starts with you saying, I've already done it. And my friend, if you've done it on a job, you can do it again in your MLM business. So that is what I wanted to cover in the mindset portion. Tomorrow, there's a second mindset thing about healing your relationship with money that you need to have before you start getting that income breakthrough in your MLM business. So I hope that you enjoy this video. And if you want to stay tuned to the additional free uh, network marketing success tips in this video series, MLM Breakthrough, just go to recruit.earnmoneywithangela.com. Plug in your email address there and you will get on my email list so you'll be notified as these videos roll out for the rest of the series of all this week. So hope you enjoy this video. Hope this kind of gave you a shift 
in, in your thinking and in your mindset because this is a shift that I needed to have in order to believe that I can make more money and to start making more money in my business. So hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for tomorrow's video in our video series in Millen Breakthrough.